Hey, it's Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Thule Epos Hitch Mount Platform Bicycle Carrier. Here we have it installed onto this vehicle. We'll go ahead and pull it off the vehicle, show you how it installs, and then also load up some bikes so you can see how this can hold a wide range of different bicycle shapes and sizes. So for starters, we can go ahead and just collapse these arms and put them in the stowed position. Bring the rack platform into the stowed position. And then on this side here, I can unlock the articulating lever. Now this will allow me to loosen the wedge that's on the inside of the receiver, which is providing the anti-wobble. Now with that loose, on the opposite side, I can pull away the auto pin. And now, by grabbing these upper arms here, I can pull the rack off of the receiver hitch. Now there's also an added feature to make the overall form factor even smaller by pressing on this lever to bring the hitch assembly up and inside the rest of the rack, making it overall very small. Also, Thule offers a carrying case, a storage case, that will allow you to cover this, this carrier up while it's in storage. Now you also see here, we have two wheels that allow us to easily move the rack where we need to and make it more portable and easier to manage for more people. Now, when we're ready to install it back onto the vehicle, we just bring this hitch assembly down and around until it engages and snaps into place. Now we can bring the rack up and insert the stinger into the receiver of the vehicle. And here with this auto pin, I'll press that against the side of the hitch and then also bring the rack inward until that auto pin engages into the hitch pin hole of the receiver. Here on the opposite side of the auto pin, you have the articulating locking lever. So I'll go ahead and unlock that lever. Now with this loose, you'll see that the interface between the stinger and the receiver has play. But as we tighten the lever, that play will be removed by tightening that silver wedge inside the receiver hitch. And then we'll get a final turn. This lever will extend out in order to get sufficient leverage. And then we can bring that back around, lock it back to the side of the stinger. And now we have not only a anti-wobble, so it minimizes if not eliminates the, the play between the stinger and the receiver, but also provides an effective theft deterrent for locking the rack to the receiver. Okay, now with the rack unloaded, we can take a close-up look at some of the finer details of this rack design. For starters, we have the integrated reflectors at the ends of this last tray here. Now, these reflectors can be upgraded to a LED tail light and license plate kit. So it is possible to relocate your license plate to the end of the rack here for added visibility. And of course, you'll have the added illumination of your brake lights, running lights, and your turn signals all in a kit that's sold separately. Okay, now in addition to that, we have the unique arm design, which offers the greatest possible versatility in connecting to bikes. The support arm has several features built in to provide stability, versatility, protection, and security to each individual bike. So it is pivoting on the platform. It has a steel main arm that is very rigid and strong. Now, here we have a retention clip here for the stainless steel ratcheting strap. We also have the aluminum extension to allow for the upper cradle to reach various parts on the bicycle. 
Now the cradle, it will pivot and enable attachment in many different angles and provide that higher level of versatility. Now on this ratcheting strap, we have a rubber section here that will provide protection as it presses against this cradle's rubber section as well. Now, when we bring the strap around the connection point on the bicycle, we can ratchet to provide added grip. And once we're satisfied with the connection, we can actually lock by pushing down and turning, and that will prevent release of this stainless steel strap, giving you a very good and convenient security means. Now, there's also an option to upgrade the lock mechanism for the rack overall by purchasing separately the Thule high grade cable lock. Now this cable lock is a very heavy duty lock which is manufactured by Abus, which is a known high quality manufacturer of security devices. Okay, now we can go ahead and load up our bikes. So we'll just spread out these trays and here we have our wheel straps that are in a special retainer so they're kept out of the way. Now we can go ahead and bring our support arm up and grab our first bike. Now this is a mountain bike with 29 inch wheels so this rack can accommodate wheel diameters from 16 inch kid size bike wheels all the way up to 29 inch mountain bike larger wheels. Also tire sizes from 3 inches down to 19 millimeters. There is a strap kit that will allow this carrier to accommodate 5 inch wide fat tire bikes as well. Also this rack can accommodate bikes weighing up to 66 pounds each and with wheel bases all the way up to 53 inches. Now let's take this support arm and extend it up and we can maneuver that arm into a position where it will be the most supportive to this particular bike. So I've chosen this spot here and all we have to do is wrap the strap around and insert it into the clamp. Now, once that's inserted into the clamp, you can push it, you can ratchet it, and get a good, firm connection to your bike. Okay, so there we have a good connection. Now, down at the wheels, we'll take the strap, rotate it over to attach to the front wheel. And then at the rear, attached to that rear wheel. Now I'll grab the second bike, which happens to be a hybrid style bike. Now this rack can also accommodate bikes weighing up to 66 pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and lift that bike into place. We have this final bike, which is a road bike and the rack can accommodate road bikes with very narrow tires all the way down to 19 millimeter. I'll go ahead and bring that up. Let's check out one of the standout features of the Thule Ecos, which is the ability to access the back of the vehicle without having to remove the bikes. Here we have a foot pedal. I'll just press down on that foot pedal. I'll grab one of the bikes and easily rotate the bike platform towards me. There is a balance point on the platform that makes it very simple to operate. Now here you'll see we have full access into the back of the vehicle, lifting the hatch. This clearance is common, so you'll find that this amount of clearance is available for most rack vehicle combinations. Now to return the rack back into its carrying position, all I have to do is lift with very little effort. It'll automatically click into the carrying position and now it's ready for transport.
Okay, well those are all the key features of the Thule Epos hitch mounted bicycle carrier. This product and the full line of Thule products are available at RackAttack.com. And be sure to see the link in the video description for our store locator. We have over 40 stores across North America. Now, if you have any questions or comments about this product in particular, feel free to leave those in the comments section below and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2000 rack related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one and thanks for watching.